Um, next, we have Mrs. YG. I believe she's on the line, um, which you do not see on the treasures. I'm sorry, on the agenda. But Mrs. YG will provide us her information on today. Good morning, everyone. Permission Good morning. to. I, I'm back with your history report. Permission to um, share my screen, please. Yay, the there we go. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yes. All right. Once again, this is Mrs. YG with your Did You Know moment. And today we're going to be talking about Mrs. Lucille Elizabeth Bishop Smith. So, a little bit about Mrs. Smith. She was born on September the 5th, 1892 to Mary Jackson Bishop and Jesse Bishop of Crockett, Texas, my hometown. Lucille attended and graduated from Samuel Houston College in 1912, which is today known as Houston Tillerson University. In 1912, she married her college sweetheart, Mrs. Mr. Ulysses Samuel Smith, also known as the Barbecue King of the Southwest. Lucille and U Ulysses moved to Fort Worth, Texas in 1927, where she took on a position as teacher coordinator for a vocational education program. And she also worked at Camp Walderman, where she managed the kitchen. They had three children, Gladys, Ulysses Jr., and Armstead. All right. So in 1937, Lucille was recruited by Prairie View A&M College to initiate the nation's first let me say that again. The nation's first collegiate commercial food and technology training program for instructors and professors to teach students. So Prairie View had the nation's first, which was initiated by Miss Lucille. In 1941, she published her first cookbook, Lucille's Treasure Chest of Fine Foods, which was in the form of a card file box of recipes. Lucille also invented the very first all-purpose hot hot roll mix, which was named after her. Uh, the purpose of the hot roll mix was initially as a fundraiser idea for her church in Fort Worth, but it became an instant success. So, and Lucia was also the very involved in her community. She was the first Black woman to join the Fort Worth Chamber of Commerce. She was the first food editor for a Fort Worth-based magazine for Black Americans called Sepia. In 1965, Lucille baked more than 300 fruitcakes for families of uh, service members from Tarrant County who were serving in the Vietnam War. The following year, on April the 28th, Fort Worth proclaimed that day as Lucille B. Smith Day in gratitude for her generous spirit. Lucille's chili biscuits were also served on American Airlines and at the White, Ho White House when Lyndon B. Johnson was president. Lucille became a bit overwhelmed with cooking and baking large-scale productions in her kitchen. So she attempted to acquire a loan from a large for a large production site, but because of discriminatory banking practices, she was denied. But in 1974, at the age of 82, Lucille founded and became the president of Lucille B. Smith's Fine Foods. Lucille died on January 12, 1985, at the age of 92. In 2019, Prairie View and m University honored Lucille during Women's History Month, an exhibit called Biscuits and Business, the legacy of Lucille Smith and Southern Black Chefs featured the famed entrepreneur from March the 28th through May the 15th. Today, her grandsons, Chris and Ben Williams, continue in her footsteps, footsteps at Lucille's restaurant located in the Museum District off of LeBrand Street. The restaurant opened in August of 2012 and has received rave reviews and awards. There's also Lucille's 1913, which is a nonprofit organization established by Chris Williams to address food insecurities in economically vulnerable communities in Houston, Texas. Part of their mission is to train and create employment opportunities in traditional under-resourced neighborhoods and empower communities to discover a self-sustainable livelihood through culture and food. Today, Lucille's 1913 provides 686 meals a day to underserved communities in the Sunnyside area, Acres Home area, 
fifth ward and third ward area communities. They also provide 89 meals a day to, chil to children at the Imani School, along with teaching them the importance of a nutritional meal. For more information about Mrs. Lucille Elizabeth Bishop Smith, visit the, web the, the websites listed below or the Prairie View a &M University Archives Collection. Thank you all so much for your time and attention, and this will conclude my presentation. Are there any questions? All right, well, thank you all so much. I will hand it back over to our president. Thank you, thank you again.